The Indran Plus offers numerous advantages. The modules can be used where the soil conditions are difficult. They can be used when space is an issue and when it's difficult to source suitable gravel. The Indran Plus has an integral biofilter that replaces the gravel bed. The Plus module is designed to be used with the special Indran mat. This Indran mat is a prefabricated dispersion layer that infiltrates the water down into the ground. The permeability of the ground must correspond to an LTAR or long-term acceptance rate of at least 15 for the Indran Plus modules to work. Dimensioning a system is based on a standard household with five people. The theoretical maximum water consumption will then be 850 litres according to the new standard, which includes all domestic grey water and WCs. The length of the infiltration bed is determined by the number of modules. Five modules are sufficient for a standard household. The bed would then be 6 metres long and 1.3 metres wide. The depth depends on the distance to rock, the distance to groundwater and the characteristics of the soil. The module's design, with the traditional Indran modules on top and the biofilter holder underneath, which always has good access to oxygen, thanks to the integral air channel, results in efficient sanitation. The bed must sit perfectly horizontal and be laid transversely to the runoff. The runoff is usually in the same direction as the slope of the ground. It is important that the bottom of the trench is not too densely packed or clogged with mud or dirt. It is therefore best to dig the trench with an excavator bucket with teeth. The Indran Plus module offers two significant advantages. The solution guarantees efficient sanitation entirely irrespective of the quality of the local gravel, while infiltration requires very little space. Just 8 square metres for a standard household. The Indran mat is there to disperse the sanitised water across the whole of the bed, which ensures runoff will be as effective as possible. The modules are laid lengthways along the edge, upstream of the expected runoff. Optimum ventilation is achieved if the air channel runs all the way along the same side. The infiltration pipe is laid with the holes downward and held in place with ties above the modules. The entire system, including the Indran mat, should then be covered by 2 metre wide geotextile. It is important that infiltration is properly ventilated. The system is ventilated via the septic tank and ventilation pipes in the house. The ventilation stack must be vented to the outside and the airflow must not be restricted by a vacuum valve. The infiltration pipe is also vented by a ventilation pipe mounted at one end. An integral air channel is connected to a ventilation pipe. This ensures the modules are also guaranteed good access to oxygen. This pipe is connected to the first module, that is to say at the opposite end to the dispersion tube ventilation pipe. You can normally backfill the system with excavated soil. However, avoid backfilling with larger stones. This system is going to be used sporadically in winter too. The owner has therefore chosen to pack insulation round the infiltration system. When you start backfilling, the first scoop should be laid over the tube, then the second and third scoops on each side. This order should be repeated until the entire dispersion section is covered. This ensures the geotextile is completely covered and you avoid gaps in the system. The infiltration system is now ready to be used and will provide excellent service for many, many years to come.